So what's going on toxic gamers? We got another one ladies and gentlemen Just when people start to believe that it is over nothing more is gonna come out No franchise is gonna be ruined. We end up getting Lorenzo, right? Larry Craft. I I'll have a video on that. I already have recorded that video I I'm just not sure which one to upload first guys like there's a whole lot of news We recently had the BBC shutdown salute to captain BBC <laughs> We had Don't BBC shut down off. not long ago. We all saw what Ubisoft done to my Asian homies, to my black homies, right? Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. I want to see, like, where you guys at. I'm not a savage, guys. I'm just going to give everybody equal rights, okay? You feel what I'm saying? Bruh. We had Lorenzo, Larry Crop. We'll have a video on it soon. But today, bro, Twitter is blowing up, man. Shout out to the homie ESO. Guys, if you do have Twitter, I would definitely love to have you there, okay? Link is always in the, the, the comments in the description. You feel I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Okay, not, not click that. Uh, but check this one out. I want to show you what happened, okay? This is who Microsoft just chose to put in charge of their Halo franchise. <laughs> RIP is what the brothers said. 50,000 likes, guys. Oh, shit. And, and I don't even want to go down in the comments. You feel what I'm saying? I want to show you guys this video real quick as well. Joel came out says that it's only a matter of time before this one comes true. The meme says Master Chief removed from Halo due to problematic words. Master and Chief. It's over, guys. It's over. Shout out to Smash JT. Roll it. Halo, one of the greatest franchises in the history of gaming, has had a sus was keyword was stained fall from the top over the past well say decade or so and i find it very interesting and curious as to why that is what's going on guys welcome to another episode of smash jt and in this episode we're going to be talking about halo and why it's fallen so far from grace yeah, let's, because yeah let's let's get down to it let's talk about it let's talk a about recent it. Why? video was dropped from 343 industries uh -oh. telling everyone that they're going over a complete makeover of their <clears> studio <throat> and instead of being called 343 industries they're going to be called Halo Studios. Okay, <laughs> great. Problematic toxic gamers. No, that's not the issue here. I think that's uh, hella cute that they are now gonna be calling them like Halo Studios. That's not the issue, right? But prior to, there is like controversies about to hit you guys, okay? It's gonna hit you, and when it hits you, a lot of you guys are probably gonna be looking like this, man. This is everybody right now on Twitter, bro. This is everybody that loves Halo right now, bro. And I, and I share that pain. I, how many franchises that got destroyed, right? Uh, Tomb Raider as well. Lara Croft, bro. Like Lorenzo, bro. Damn, this thing is crazy. They turned Lara Croft into Larry, then to Lorenzo. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bruh, like, bruh, like, like, bruh. You know, you feel what I'm saying? So that happened, but a while ago, when I say a while ago, just like a couple of months ago, a couple of weeks ago, we heard the fact that a dev, a higher up at Halo, working on Halo, came out said that they don't like making the guns and... Gu and, and guess what? They're working on Halo. And Halo is an FPS game, and they say that they don't like guns, they don't like designing guns. It's a video game. And, and you know, fair, you don't like guns, you don't like guns, but then don't work on a game that got guns in it like simple bro simple so that happened there was a whole lot of controversy and today well ladies and gentlemen familiar faces we meet once again it's usual suspects usual suspects how does this actually make the game any better we're gonna find out we're gonna find hit that out. subscribe give me a like and check out smashjt.com for the full exhaustive article breaking down the downfall of well now it's called Halo Studios. The once mighty Halo series, a flagship in gaming history and the golden goose of Microsoft's Xbox, <laughs> has found itself in a strange position in recent years. Yo, Stro T. Martin, yo, that's T. Martin, though. Oh, shit. That's oh, T. Martin, though. What, what you doing there, T. Martin? Damn. What's up, guys? T. Martin here. Welcome back to another latest and greatest Call of Duty pro tip. Today, we're going to be talking about the jumping. Uh, I miss the T. Martin YouTube era, bro. T. Martin, Alia, you know the prime time of Call of Duty? And I, I, I know this is not T. Martin. Bruh. Just a joke, guys. But I miss that era, bro. Like, life was simple, you know, coming home from school. Uh, Halo was buzzing back then, I remember, right? And, and, like, the FPS scene was hella lit back in the days. The GTA 4, Uncharted, God of War, Halo, right? Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. 
Man, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, you guys remember that? Bad Company 2 before that, even. Le man, simple, man. Life was simple, brothers. Life was simple. Struggling to recapture the magic that made it such a phenomenon it was in the first place. And now, the latest move from the developers, originally 343 Industries, suggests desperation rather than genuine progress and here's the okay. thing you want to change your uh -oh. company name you want to change and update the logo get with the times all right i'm all for it but honestly at the end of the day it's putting makeup on the pig it's lip service it doesn't actually do anything to change the product they released a video announcing that they're rebranding to halo studios supposedly okay. heralding in a fresh start to the beloved franchise one employee summed up their rationale by saying we knew we had to make a change in order to take us to the future but what uh, does the, that change? Ah, uh, the future, the future, man. Get Momo with the future, bro. Get Momo with the future. <laughs> get, get Momo, man. It really mean. Not much, apparently. They kept the same exact employees and simply slapped a new label on the studio, as if a name change alone could fix the halo that we grew up knowing and loving. Wait for it. Wait this for is it. the same organization that got infamous for posting Happy Pride Month and the multicolored Master Chiefs colors of the rainbow, embrace love, diversity, and inclusion by equipping the Unity 24. Or armor coating, nameplate, and emblem in Halo Infinite this June. Let's stand together in honoring our LGBTQIA+, holy crap, that's even more letters than I remembered, community, and forging a future of unity and acceptance for- In last videos, I'm not- in last video, I'm not sure if you guys saw that or not, like, these letters aren't even half of what I saw. In the last video, we were covering the news ride, and it was double these alphabets. So I, I get like the LGB, the T, the Q, but then there was like a, an extra Q, I, A, 2, S, A, A, like W, Y. There are just so many alphabets there, you know? So yeah, the, the English language got 26, right? 26 alphabets, if I'm not mistaken. It seems like that soon enough, it's gonna surpass that even, guys. Like it's probably gonna have a, a 20, 260, let's just say, like add another zero at the end. Yeah, 260 alphabets, bro. Damn, man, this thing is crazy, man for all hashtag pride 2024 and of course the comments are turned off and here's the thing by the way if you really want to push your message out there and have the community talk about something yeah. don't turn off the comments because yeah. that's actually where the communication happens and if you're afraid of that then you really shouldn't be posting something in the first communication nah it's not that you wanna make a damn YouTube video off it, bro. Like, you know it, man. You know it, bro. You wanna make a YouTube video about those comments, man. That's what it's all about, brother. That's what now. But uh, honestly, bro, leave the comments open, though. You know, like, sometimes we wanna laugh, too, right? Sometimes we, we wanna see, like, what's going on. We wanna be part of the discussion as well, right? Yeah. First place, yeah. it tells me that you do not personally believe in what mm. you're saying. But mm. it wasn't just mm. the name change, they also announced that they're moving from their own engine to the Unreal Engine. Yeah. Because they're not talented enough to make their own engine in the modern era. AI Emerald Apple on Twitter said, them using... Un uh, no, I, I think uh, using the Unreal... Un Unreal Engine is great, right? Uh, and, and using that, I mean, listen, the the, the 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 last Halo that came out, I believe 2020 or 2021, right? They spent so many millions of dollars on it, and ultimately, it didn't look that good, right? I'm I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna keep it real, bro. Like for a massive Xbox title, bro, like it should have looked better. It should have looked better, and especially Xbox Series X being the world's uh, best console or the the most powerful console is what they said, right? So in that aspect, yes. It deserves Halo deserved to look look better, and it did not. It looked garbage in comparison to uh, what other games were coming out at the time. A and a lot of people talked about it. Like uh, you know, that's when we had that Craig uh, Craig meme. Uh, let me show you if I can find it. We're gonna search for it real time. Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna. Yeah, okay. So I just found it. Right. So this is this is yeah. There we go, boys. You know, this was their. <laughs> You know that, that, that you know like this is where the memes started generating people started generating those memes like on a daily basis multiple times a day so there was a reason for it they spent millions and millions of dollars this was kind of like the I, I would say it still turned out to be better than Concord though right like let's keep a buck 50 Concord huge 
mega disaster for PlayStation, right? 400 million US dollars spent on it, eight plus years, and then they shut down the game two, less than two weeks later because they couldn't even make a million dollars back. Just, just crazy situation, right? So gamers are waking up. Shout out to gamers, man. Shout out to gamers. Uh, but I think using Unreal Engine is good. In a way, uh, it might be same, same looking game in, uh, because there are thousands of games out there that are using Unreal Engine. But let's see. Let's the see. real engine is a big red flag. That means they don't have the talent in they house they to don't. develop their own game. And they, they, they don't. And I mean, using the Unreal, uh, as long as the game turns out to be good, I don't care. Like if they're using Unreal Engine, if they're using like a gaming engine or whatever they're using, I don't care. I think generally speaking, the most general fans don't care. The general consumers just want a good product, and gamers just want a good and fun game. So to me, when I say when I see them using Unreal Engine, yeah, it don't really matter what engine you use. Just make a good game. Just make a good game. No politics. Just make a good game. Just make a good game for the gamers. Simple as that, right? But of course, there is more than that. Wait for it. Engine. And putting it all together, it feels like it's a very true statement based off of just updating their logo, changing the name of the studio and saying, hey, we're not using our own engine anymore. We're just going to use the Unreal Engine and pay them royalties because we don't know what we're doing here. But don't worry, we're going to make a great Halo game for you guys. Dread Roberts on Twitter said, please explain how this fixes this. Halo's reputation has taken a nosedive and the perception online is overwhelmingly negative. I swear to F in God, these studios just want to go out of business. Nothing sells copies of Halo like Alphabet Cultist Master Chief. That's exactly what gamers are asking for. <laughs> Love the PFP, man. Love the PFP. I got like a similar PFP, but on my second channel. <laughs> Yo, what a way to promote the channel, but no, sorry for that, but I usually talk about the second channel just for like five seconds, right? But this was kind of like on brand, so I saw that and I was like, bro, I got a similar PFP on the second channel. <laughs> if you guys are into uh, conspiracies, I got a second channel just for that. Definitely check that one out. All right, let's get back to the content here, boo-boo. It doesn't hold a candle to the behemoth it Bruh. once was. Bruh. The decline isn't just about the decline in quality of the games. It's about the Halo died after reach direction reach? and the people at the helm. Yeah. Sure, there are talented developers there. I don't yeah. want to take that away ah, from the. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, hey, hey, tranquilo, papi. Yo, papi, chill, papi. Hey, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, chill, bro. Studio, because every studio has high quality good, talented developers at a AAA studio. But the problem is, you start mixing the bad apples in with the good ones, and they all end up rotten. In a previous video, I covered Nick, who goes by the PJ Skittles on oh, Twitter. Oh, is that the guy that, 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 that said that, hey, uh, he don't like the guns in Halo? I think, yeah, that's why he's holding the banana, right? That's why he's holding the banana, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He stated that he didn't want oh, to make okay. the modern guns because he's. Oh, there we go, there we go. Bumbleclad brothers, Bumbleclad brothers. Now, listen, I, I think that's, that's hella cute. That's fine if you don't like guns. Yeah, right? Like, that's fine, though. Everybody has the right to having their own opinions. But, bro, but, bro, it's a video game, first of all. You know, let me actually, let me. It's a video game. And more so than that, if you don't like the guns, that's fine. Just don't work on a game that is an FPS title that have guns to begin with. Yeah, just don't do that. How hard is that? How hard is that? Man, these things are crazy, man. A any Halo fans watching this video right now? If you're a big Halo fan, I'm not a Halo fan, I'll be honest here. But, it but it's like, bro, a two-year-old can see this, man. Like, damn, bro. What, what are we talking Halo, about? Halo, specifically stating, I honestly don't think I could work on a game that glorifies... That's fine, Nick. Don't work on it then. Don't work on it. Go work on Dustborn, right? You feel what I'm saying? Like, go work on Dustborn. Or fantasizes modern guns, like Call of Duty, Battlefield, RB6. I've had moments I've struggled with Halo, but the weapons and world is pretty sci-fi, which creates a large enough separation from reality. Okay. This okay. is a developer okay. Okay. working on guns on a game that doesn't like making guns. Kind of harkens back to that professor at Concord that didn't like making guns. What are these people doing at these companies 
if they don't like what they're doing. And if you thought Nick was bad, he was just <laughs> the tip of the iceberg. Moving on to Melissa. Yeah, imagine, <laughs> yeah, imagine uh, Halo with bananas instead of guns, bro. Damn, man. In some reality, in some alternate universe, that probably is true, guys. That probably is true. Boone, who gets introduced about 21 seconds into the video that got dropped, she is the chief of staff. Rainbows, purple hair, and all. And for those who aren't familiar, the chief of staff is typically someone who ensures that the team functions smoothly, a role vital in any large organization. But when you look at what Boone's background is, it becomes pretty- I'm sorry guys, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it right now. Come here, come here, come here. If you're a Halo fan, it's over. I'm sorry. But somebody gotta tell you, it, it's it's over. It is here's a chalky chalky milk for you, okay? Here's a chalky milk free. I'm not even gonna charge you, uh, charge you guys. It's over. It, it's over. I accepted that. I think you need to accept that too. I think you need to accept that too. I accepted that about Call of Duty. Call of Duty is still kind of chill right now, you know. But 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 I kind of accepted that. And whenever I play right now, whenever I play Call of Duty. I go in with zero expectations and I do enjoy my 15 minutes, 30 minutes, sometimes an hour, you know. Yeah, just put like a podcast in the background, watch a couple of YouTube videos in the background while I play. Yeah, shit, I love that. I love that. Pretty hard to understand how any- But with Halo, it's over, guys. ...of this it's even over. relates to Halo in the first place. This screams DEI hire. She holds a PhD in social psychology, focusing on AIDS and HIV, and I honestly am struggling to find out what- Now, these are very, very good uh, studies that she has done. Like, the oh, absolutely. Uh, I'm not even being sarcastic here. Like, she has that knowledge, but wrong field wrong field you know it's one of those things like sometimes the message is good but wrong messenger yeah you know ever heard of that yeah so it's like that same thing Nah, these are very good studies like if she got like diplomas phds in that uh, in these uh, departments very good very good but wrong department you shouldn't be in video games you should be like in another uh another place where your knowledge would be treasured you know what i mean because yeah that's good knowledge I, I i i don't know what kind of knowledge she has she might not be that good but dep but based off of what i'm hearing like the she's done phds in those areas yeah like the the, the world needs uh some studies and you know some ways to counter these diseases because Sigas be like getting their schlongs involved Sigas doing easter eggs and sometimes things go south sometimes things go really south and things go out of hands and yeah it happens right like steps of mistakes happen mistakes happen so we definitely need those expertise the wrong field though wrong what field. any of that has to do with a sci-fi fantasy shooter it's not like someone with these qualifications can't work in gaming but when it comes to leading a team tasked with delivering a series about heroism alien worlds and yeah. intense battles the connection seems more than a stretch then we have pika posting twitter about how she's racist to hispanics referring Man. to latinos latinas as latinos Teen X, which I don't even want to get involved with that because I am not that. Uh, uh, what's that? Like, I, I heard that, like, Latinx thing, like, a while ago. I, I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. Like, yeah, what what's... Is that, like, the, the pronoun kind of thing? Uh, or I do have friends that are, and vehemently, overwhelmingly, all of them always reject the Latinx terminology. But people like this always try to tell people like them what's best for them it's not good but it keeps going i know i've oh, already had people okay. on twitter calling me cabrutus grums Talk racist it. homophobes because we're trying to point out how none of this has anything to do with an alien sci-fi simple 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 we just want passionate people passionate gamers making good games for the gamers simple as that simple no strings attached just make good games for the gamers easy simple 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 of course making a game is not easy but but i'm saying that metaphorically right, right like we just want good games for the gamers simple and easy that's what's that that's what's up we don't want like activists making video games 
because uh, activist work is not making video games it's different stuff and do that different stuff and that's fine just do what uh what you, what you're about right but one thing that i can tell you man like uh halo is pro uh, halo master chief in the next game probably gonna have aids i think he's gonna have aids in the in the next game though by shooter and no matter what you say people are gonna try to pigeonhole you as being mm. some sort of bigot against mm. a specific genre of person because they need to justify their hatred for you for speaking the truth mm. but when you start to expose how it's not just a white dude not just a black woman it's also white women too it's people from all ends of the spectrum working at this company that have no place working at a game company focusing on halo and shout out to tebow yeah. on twitter who said many people are rightfully worried about the chief of staff at halo studios melissa boone and her obvious ideologically driven activism however it's not just melissa who has an agenda to push but the executive producer casey Wu and the coo elizabeth Van Wick. Both of these people show up in the video as well and diving deeper into them, yep, they're both activists. Casey Wu, for they instance, was on a panel back in 2019 called Open Worlds, Women and Diversity in Gaming, where they were pushing the dubious claim that 45% of gamers are women. That type of narrative is... That is true, but, but probably in Candy Crush and games like that. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not watch this video, bro. Do not watch this video. Insane drama. Check out the video on the left, guys. Check out the video on the left. A massive cheater got busted playing Call of Duties.